Folks, I just want to take a minute and say thank you to Brent Collier, who uh, made these 3D printed uh, covers for my LaForge. Well, <laughs> he didn't make them for my LaForge. He made them for everyone's LaForge, but he sent me a set. Um, and uh, I know, I have some friends who are into 3D printing. I don't personally do it. But I know how fiddly it can be to get a good 3D print, to get the tolerances right, to deal with all the BS that's involved with getting something to come out of the printer the way you want it to. And I'm really impressed with the with the design on these. The tolerances are really good. They go in really nice and tight and snug. You know, one of the concerns I had when I first started using the LaForge module or any of the modules that go into the bay is they're just held in there by those little pins, you know, and it's really easy to, to bang the antenna or something and pull the whole thing out. Um, I've seen some instructionals that say to put a little bit of double-sided tape on the back side of your module. And the problem with that, of course, is that it's pulling on that metal uh, cover for the amplifier for the RF section. And that's not good. It can it can cause that to break loose, yada, yada, yada. So I'm super pleased with how snug these are. These things are in there really good. Oh, see, now I've pulled it out. But they're in there really good. And, and they go in really tight. The tolerances are just right. They hold everything in securely. I've got the clear color. They come in many colors, but I'm a weirdo and I picked clear. Uh, and in fact, I'm really pleased that on the on the diversity side, it held it in and I didn't have to cut away any of the stuff on the inside of the diversity side. I don't know if that's because I have the V2 modules or if that has something to do with how this cover is designed to give just that little bit of extra clearance uh, to let that module sit in there without, uh, without you having to do more cutting on your goggles than you really have to. Anyway, I'm super impressed with this. Uh, it's a very nice design. Hey there, it's Joshua from the future or from the present or from what it's a couple weeks later since I recorded that original uh, testimonial and as I often do I held on to it until I'd really sat with the product for a little longer because oftentimes I get some insights into the product that I don't have when I first use it oh that's actually what a responsible reviewer would do what do you know <laughs> how uncharacteristic of me and there are a couple things I would change about I still like them very much uh, I like the fact that they they're very securely hold the stuff in the goggles and that they look very smooth and very sort of OEM, right? But there, here's a couple things that I did end up changing about them. Number one, I found that the 3D printed buttons, when I first got them, they seemed to very cleanly click the buttons, no problem. But for some reason, after maybe after taking it in and out a couple times, or maybe, I don't know, at least one of them would not cleanly click the buttons and I'd kind of have to wiggle it around and fiddle it around and I just didn't like that. I kind of suspected that might happen when I saw them and sure enough it did. So I've cut the buttons away and I've actually trimmed away this lip just a little bit. I tried to make it as clean as I could. I've trimmed that lip away just a little bit so I can just reach in and click the buttons with my fingers and I, I like that better. The other change that I made is that when you get the cover, hold on here, let me get this out. When you get the cover, there is a little bit of uh, 3D printed material going here. And that means that you have to insert the cable through the cover and then plug it into the module and then slide the cover onto the module. Does that make sense? If you already have the cable plugged into the module, you cannot put the cover on. And that's really, it's really a bit of a hassle to, to accomplish. You have to, because you don't have a lot of slack here. So getting the cable through the cover and then onto the module and then the cover onto the module without it all falling apart is a little tricky. So I've cut this section away here so that I can plug the cable into the module and then slide the cover onto the module and then just slide everything together into, into, the, into the bay. So those are two changes that I made and they seem to work for me. Brent Collier is a great designer and surely he considered these things and came to a different conclusion and maybe there's a good reason for that. Um, but at least in, in this case, this is the feedback I have to give. And if that's good feedback, maybe that'll be incorporated into future builds. You can get these from Great 3D. Um, and I'm going to put a link in the video description. Uh, and, and people have said when I got the LaForge, I was like, well, which covers should I get? And people said the great 3D one is the best. So I haven't tried any of the others, so I, I can't say for sure that it's the best, but it sure is good. It's, it's very good, and I'm very pleased with it. So thanks again to Brent Collier for designing these covers and for, uh, for sending me a set. Happy flying.